It was about a year ago today, in June of 2020, off the coast of British Columbia, that a star was born. Ten days later, after being heard vocalizing throughout the night, he was rescued by my friends at the Marine Mammal Rescue Center. Hi, I'm KP, a marine biologist who's worked with a variety of marine mammals for the past decade, including the world-famous Joey. So obviously, I've always been a huge proponent of amazing facilities like zoos and aquariums all over the world who amaze, engage, and inspire people on a daily basis. But every once in a while, something big happens that brings us right back to the forefront of my mind. And so, for Joey's first birthday, I want to take the opportunity to talk about how one silly sea otter is the perfect example of why zoos and aquariums matter in today's world. People who don't support these types of facilities will tell you that there is nothing that can be gained by seeing an animal up close in a zoo or an aquarium. But anyone who Googles otter and has immediately recommended a 24-7 live stream on YouTube of a sea otter and his family knows that that's not true. Like so many of us, 2020 was a difficult year for Joey. At just 10 days old, tragically, he lost his mother. It's a sad story, and I'm not gonna dive too much into it, but you can head down to the descriptions below for a more in-depth look at Joey's rescue story. What is relevant, though, is that that is a very tender age for sea otters. Survival would have been impossible if not for the humans who were able to rescue and rehabilitate him. Joey would need to be raised by humans, and the decision was made to broadcast every moment of it. Once he was old enough, he was introduced to our other rescue otters, and the world was introduced to them as well. But from the start, he became a viral sensation. People around the globe started liking, subscribing, and sharing his live stream until thousands were watching around the world. These people gave voice to his loud meeps. And he had a home on nearly every country in the planet, where he was broadcast to people's TVs, phones, and laptops, he brought people from all across the world together. People made friends, belonged to a community, and felt alive again. And this was no small feat during the height of an unprecedented global pandemic. Twenty twenty was a difficult year for so many of us. Mental health was at an all-time low. And any additional losses or struggles had an amplified effect. Joey and his friends became the perfect escape for people. People needing to forget it all for just a few moments and feel like they were part of something bigger. He was our collective emotional support animal. I asked some of Joey's followers to share their stories with me via Discord and the live chat over on Twitch. And honestly, I could not be more inspired by every single one of you. High five. <laughs> Don't steal that. And this has a boomerang effect. While Joey helped many of you survive 2020, you in turn helped sea otters. High five. Everyone was Googling otters and learning more about this amazing species. People donated thousands of dollars to facilities like the Marine Mammal Rescue here in Vancouver, as well as Monterey Bay Aquarium, and even some facilities abroad. Holy crap, is that Monterey Bay Aquarium? Monterey Bay Aquarium just followed me eh? on Twitch. <laughs> Hi guys, look, we hit $6,000. Wait, it's over here. Six thousand dollars! 
Almost everyone I know has changed by doing small things like using less water or reducing waste. And together we helped make a difference in the lives of wild sea otters. One sea otter started a snowball effect that transformed the lives of thousands of people who in turn go out into the world and change it for the better. And that's why zoos and aquariums matter. They bring people closer to animals than they would have ever been able to experience in the wild. They teach people about these amazing species, engage, amaze, and inspire people to make changes in their everyday lives to help the planet that we live on. And so today I say we toss a clam to your otter, oh scallops of plenty. <laughs> the man of the hour, Sir Joseph of Clamelot, the meeper in chief, <laughs> King Chunk himself. We celebrate his birthday, look back at how far he's come and how far we've come along with him. Say hi.